Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Full Bore, where we have entered the Teletransit Hut. And before I do anything in here, for whatever reason, uh, my memory was tickled that um, somewhere in here we once heard something about Teletransit something something something. Here we go, from Teletransit te Technician Kasten. Right, it sounded like they were basically trying to do, like, Star Trek-type transporter systems, and it was killing the live subjects, but they were able to uh, transport inanimate objects or something sometimes, but sometimes there is superposition and various, various problems and different things. In any case, I'm wondering if it's going to be fast travel, and in any case, there's another boar with tusks over there. I'm not sure who it is. Is it someone I've met before? They might even be wearing glasses. And, oh my goodness. There's like a, uh, some kind of container over there. This looks like the device itself. Which is pretty similar, actually, to like the checkpoint kind of things that I have. Alright, but well, let's have a conversation. Matheson! I've been looking for you, I think, since like... I don't know. Ten episodes ago or something, maybe. I think the mole people sent me down to talk to Matheson? I can't remember. What? Who are you? They didn't send you, did they? This is a bit suspicious. I don't like the look of you. Oh, the mayor told you where I was? He finally decided to take my suspicions seriously. I got an achievement. Digital archaeologist. Okay, I remembered correctly. Listen, I have a space open on in the order of the magic branch. It requires you to complete a special mission first, though. <laughs> There's these boars here, and they're... You know them? Are you Frederick? Hildy told me about you. I was actually expecting Hildy to show up to help me free these poor souls. This machine is using their minds to make a new realm, the In-Between. Never heard of the In-Between? You sure? I scanned you when you came in. These readouts say you've been there already. Is that where I go to sleep in front of the graves? Anyway, neither here nor there. Technically, it's both. <laughs> I don't know what these boars are going through right now, so we need to break them out pronto. You're going to have to make it back into the in-between, find the boars, wake them up, safely extract them from the machine afterwards. Right, because like most of the boars went missing after some event that I don't remember. All right. And you're just saying I need to go back into the in-between. Okay. Um, what else can I witness in this zone and interact with, perhaps? Um, there's some stuff I might be able to dig over there somehow, somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, what does my mini-map say about this area? There's still more lore. There's a teleport hub here. Okay, that's good, because I need to go to the in-between. And, uh, some type of mystery. Uh, hmm. Not sure exactly what to make of some of this machinery. We got lights. Okay, here's some more lore. Executive summary. Live animal teletransit test battery, week 47. Subjects listed in increasing order of measured intelligence. HI reject guinea pig deceased, heart failure. Albatross, failed to emerge from transit, presumed loss. Mole, deceased, asphyxiated. Otter, died of exhaustion shortly after transit. Boar, returned alive, was uncooperative for a week, delaying debrief. New fur growth since transit has been gray-white, condition presumed permanent. Gray-white. Is that the color of the boar who's been wearing the helmet that I've been seeing mysteriously appear first at the vault and then at a bunch of other places? Possibly? Maybe. Um, there's some blocky blocks over there, but let's ignore them for the moment and instead do some in-betweenage. <laughs> Alright. So in the in-between... Teletransit hub. Okay. 
Is that the final one? No, there's definitely, there's something here. Hmm. Something there, how would I get to it? Oh, can I, hold on. Can I just walk down here and fall down the scaffolds and be in front of this? Yes, but I can't go to sleep in front of it because it's one that I haven't opened yet from the other side, I guess. And then also, does this fall out of the world? It does. Okay. So I need to go to the in-between and find the boars. But when I'm here, I'm not on the map. And so I don't know where I am. And is there anything to find in here? Like, it seems like this is just kind of a small teleporter zone. And there's nothing else really going on out here, but I don't know that I fully explored it. Okay, that is apparently not the thing to do. But now we have tried it. Up there, that might be like a red toggle block, but it's also kind of shaped like the dark eyeballs that I'm collecting. And so maybe if I do something with all the eyeballs, something, something will happen over there. And I presume there's nothing if I fall out the left-hand side, but we'll try it as well for completeness. Yeah, so it doesn't look like there's much to do here other than go back to places I have been. And so which places that I've been do I need to go back to? I'm supposed to be finding the other boars. Uh, this is Molten Passage. It does lead to Deep Delve where I'm still missing a doorway. Ashron, I'm still missing a doorway. Um, Hovel. I don't particularly remember that. It looks like a small area. How did I miss a gem in there? Um... It's not very far from where I am, so let's try going over that way, I suppose. So if I cut through Deep Delve and go into the hovel, I remember you. Yeah, Cletus. You would miss looking into the dark eye. We've had this conversation before, I believe. Okay, and you just cycle around. I can't scroll, I can scroll up. I can't scroll down. Oh, scrolling up. I see there's some boxes up there. What does it say I'm missing here? A gem and a doorway. There must be another doorway into the hovel, either at the upper left or at the lower left. Okay, so how else could I get into the hovel from nearby here is what I am now wondering. Oh, hey, I could stomp this thing. And it leads me down here. Well, that's much easier. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to come back and take a peek in here. Did not expect to pay off that way. And so, scrutiny. Uh, am I in a spot where I can stomp and turn on the lights? No, but I have a feeling I'm about to be. It's very dark in here. Uh, but this looks like the type of place where there's a light switch. Da, 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 da. It's not very bright, but it's a light. Okay. So we found another one of these mysterious question marks. And we turned on its light switch. And so that's good. Did that just change text when I stepped in front of it? I guess not. This one has like the uh, green pillars in front of it as well. We've seen that at least once before. I don't remember exactly where. All right, and is it Grayson? Is it Grayson? Do you have anything new to say? Cletus, sorry. And no, you don't. Okay. Well, uh, did I finish up everything there? Yeah, except for the question mark and scrutiny. Okay, and I already turned on the light in there. Okay. Um, there's still a missing doorway in Deep Delve. And now I guess I might be deep delving? Oh, right, I have notes about this. It's in the bottom right of the purple thing down here. So if I... Do I need to stomp my way down? Actually, what is the way down? Because this does not seem to be it. Looks like I'm just about to get stuck. Is there a way... Yeah, through the Molten Passage where I come back out about where I need to be? So I guess I go... Wait, this is Generator. This is not the Molten Passage. Hold on. That was just a little puzzle with a bunch of lasers. Uh, the Molten Passage would have been the place over to the right. 
Uh, okay, but now the uh, thing is no longer below my feet, so I can actually come down here. Okay, so this is good. Here's the other side of the Molten Passage. I'm going to go ahead and walk through here so that we have a checkpoint. So, below me there's a bunch of purple stuff, and it's eventually going to lead to something I want. So, suppose I do this. Yeah, I see the doorway down there. And it looks like I can just walk over there? Looks like I can just walk over there. Alright, this is a doorway I've never been in. Uh, except it just brings me here. There's another doorway to my left that goes to Hot Logic. And why do I want to be here? Uh, it's going to push a block that presumably I will need somewhere for some reason. Yes. Let's imagine I'm going to need this block somewhere for some reason. Uh, from here... I guess... I guess I'll just fall down here with the block. The only thing I could do right now is push it to the right or push that little wedgy thing to the left. I've already been down there. There is another purple fuse farther to the left, whose effects are not clear to me, and I can't remember if I've been down there or not. Um, hmm. But apparently I still haven't found the door I'm looking for. Can I push this to the right and then also push this to the right? No. Have I been to that section to the right of me right now? That's what I'm wondering. There's a checkpoint over there. And if there's a checkpoint over there, it feels like that would almost trap me. No, I could be coming out a door that's like hidden in the left edge of the dirt below the checkpoint on the right hand side of the screen. So why did I want this block? All right, I have a feeling I'm going to regret it, but I think maybe there's going to be another doorway that comes through Ash Run, which I've been through a couple times looking for a doorway and not been successful. But I think I'm going to try it again. If I were a doorway that went back into Deep Delve... Well, I did another pass through Ash Run and once again came up empty. So, where do I think I need to go from here? I need to make some progress. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to start at the vault. And just do kind of like a final pass in some of the original areas. So here we are in the vault. It's complete. Uh, Gillen Burstie's office is complete. Surface had a mystery, and I don't remember if I lit up the surface mystery. So I guess we'll check over there. And I guess at some point I need to make my way back to... Um, the way is blocked or whatever it was called that seems to be whenever we unlock the mysteries and turn on the lamps like what was finally getting unlocked maybe and let's see did I ever go to the left from here actually did I ever go to the left from here looks like there's an area down what was down here uh, there's like lasers and things it's like a little playground area almost Although, might be stuff that I can't actually play with, at least at a glance. And it looks like I could stomp some leaves through the wall. <laughs> That's fun. So surface leads down into sand silos, and sand silos is one of the first areas where I'm still missing a door. There's also a door over to Introspection, which I can't remember if I have done the thing at, so let's do that first. That won't take long at all. Because I can just, uh... Mm. What I should have done was stomped that away and then push this in, and then I could stand here comfortably while I make my way over to Introspection or whatever it's called. And it does look like the lamps here have already been turned on. But I'll do them one more time. 
just to be totally sure. Great. And yeah, it's got like a weird Tetris piece above it or whatever. And this is just the doorway back out to the sand silos. Okay, so there is a door missing in here somewhere, and I'm going to find it. And here's a place where it could be hiding. Suppose I push this to the left and then use it to jump over here. This is the type of place that I wouldn't have known about in the early game. Yeah! Okay, the little push the block and before it falls off the ledge, use it as a jumping off point. So where did this just bring me? Stagnation. I am now stagnant. <laughs> Uh, there's a computer terminal here, and also possibly a place that I need to stop to turn on lights, maybe? Oh, there's a dark eye over there. That's all of a sudden become the most noteworthy bit. Um, looks like it might need to be lasered, and I do see a laser. Um, and there's a battery over here. And the battery's in the corner, and the laser is facing downward. Okay, let's reset now that I'm starting to appreciate various elements that have appeared to me. So the laser looks like it would have to be pressed to the left. And the battery I could get above and, like, press a different way. Yeah, because I could dig this out and push the battery to the right. And so that seems like it's going to be desirable or necessary or something. Yeah. All right, let's just get a sense of how far I can push it across here. I'm unclear what kind of scaffolding might be hidden underneath the sand, and so I just want to witness it. Also, I see the fact that these other blocks are going to get in the way, and so we'll just let them get in the way for now, and let me just witness what's underneath the sand. Okay, so I would need to... Okay, I can actually... While the battery is here, I can stomp this away, push this to the right, stomp this away, and use it as a bridging mechanism to get where I need to get. And then I can probably also... Uh, that one, not so much. I have to do that from the other side. Oh, okay, I'm starting to see it better now. So while this was here... I need to push this down here, stomp this sand away. Is this what I want to do? I think yes. Stomp that bit of sand away, push this down here, come back up here, now push this over, stomp the sand away, push this over, stomp the sand away, and now I've made a complete uh, battery pushable something something. However, I never got over to the laser and I needed to do that first, it looks like. But I would have been able to push the battery over next to the laser if the laser had been here. Okay. So I'm feeling like progress is being had. So step one appears to be the laser. So suppose I go up to Laserville. Population one laser. And then just do the most obvious thing, which is to place laser over here. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And then this looks safe for what I want to do. And this does too. Uh, nope, that was too much. I need to be higher up, which means I need to stomp from here. Uh, that still broke all the sand. The sand like, commutative in terms of stomping or whatever I'm trying to say? I don't remember, so how would I... Ah, I can just break the sand with my tusks, perhaps? If I break this bit of sand... Yeah, that's fine. So I do that, and then I just need to do a similarish type of thing over here. And so, yeah, you saw me do this just moments ago, so I'm going to do the same type of thing. Also, there's a weird-looking thing in the ceiling above me over here. I'm not sure exactly what that is. It's glowy and it interests me strangely. All right. That gets me another one of these things. There might only be one more. Uh, and so perhaps a whole new area of the world will open up to us in the not-too-distant future. That would be pretty exciting. Um... 
I guess in the bottom, hold on. It says that there's some lore here I haven't read. Am I making my way up to said lore? Oh yeah, I see the computer terminal over there. And yeah, the mini-map suggests this is the only thing, so I'm not gonna go looking for other secrets. Science Direction Committee Transcript. Site Director Newtonen. I think we have proven the technique. This needs to stop now. The scope of the project has been surpassed. Our intent was never to create an intelligence outside our own. Augmentation Weed Matten has gone beyond that. The ethics of the situation are too complex. How can we stop now? The subjects are now equals. We can't terminate them or program or the program. Objections, mine included, were raised when we started, but were shot down. There's no stopping now. The use of human test subjects will begin next week. So did they create super intelligent boars that something, something, something? <laughs> At some point, I'll go back and like reread all the lore. I have not gotten to that point yet. Did I finish sand silos and stagnation? Yes and yes. That's great. And introspection, I already did the question mark on. So if I zoom back out... Oh, I'm at 100% of the doorways and the workings. And most of the gems, there's one in for the finish I haven't gotten. So I guess I'll try to make my way down there. And I find myself once again being taunted by that shell in the dirt in the wall. I'm just going to take a short moment to see if I can come up with anything clever that I didn't come up with previously. All right, I did not come up with anything, so let's move on. Okay, so I've made it back to a screen called For the Finish, which was after the race with Hildy, but this time Hildy wasn't there. And apparently there is a mystery and a gem. I see the gem. And as for the mystery, for the moment, that's mysterious. Okay, there's nothing else I could do in this entrance area, so let's fall down. Oh, I remember struggling to get this before. Okay, I'm smarter now, right? So presumably I should be able to figure this out. So let's figure it out. So those blocks are above my head and they don't move, right? Yeah, okay. And the problem is that there's some sand there. Suppose I dig quickly to the left twice. That almost worked. Could I have done that if I had more digging speed? Yes. And then if I do this, I need that sand there though. Okay. Um, I need the sand on the, oh, okay, I see. I need the sand above me to disappear, but I need the sand to the left of me to stay. If I do this, can I walk across both and quickly get over there? Yes, and I get the gem. Okay. Uh, so I got the gem, and then there's a mystery. What could the mystery refer to? Is there anything as yet undug in here? Is there anything I need to stop... Hmm, what could the mystery refer to? There's a place to fall out of the bottom. Uh, but that looks like it's going to be... So there's a doorway that goes back to the digs. Yeah, let's go through the doorway back to the digs because I might get another chance to check out the mystery. There's one block of sand there that I didn't break. And there's some blocks of sand, just or blocks of uh, dirt above me but there's nothing I could do to them. So in any case, I save that gem, and then I think I could have gotten that one dirt block. Yeah, no problem. So I didn't break this one last time, but there's no mystery there. So what mystery is this referring to? I don't see any way to get into the top section. I don't see anything noteworthy in the bottom left. Um, 
Maybe the mystery... Hmm. Maybe the mystery is going to remain mysterious, because right now I have no ideas. I can't, like, dig through this wall or something right now. Um... Yeah, at least I got the gem. And for the finish, I guess it's going to remain a question mark that I'm not sure about. Uh, series is one that I remember struggling with previously. Maybe I couldn't find the top entrance on the next screen, or how to get to the top entrance, even though I'd witnessed it. So let's try that. It looks like I just need to fall down here into Expedient Elevator. So I'm at the very top of it and somewhere at the top left. Um, so there's a doorway up to impasse that I can see on the screen. And then just below it to the left, there should be a way to get the series. So let's go witness that. It would be in the dirt just below me over here. So the question is, how do I get to the dirt just below me over here? And so let's figure that out. There's pushable blocks, but there's all the scaffolding here that would prevent me from going through it. With the pushable blocks. And kind of ditto here. Then there's some pushable blocks here. I want to get up to that dirt. And there's also these pushable blocks on like a conveyor over here. Oh, I can probably uh, build my own lower staircase over here. Of course. So if I break this, I can walk up here and witness this again. So there's another doorway up top. That doorway is clearly going to be behind the dirt that's above me. And I get there from here. How did I not find that before? There's the doorway. Series. All right. <laughs> that didn't seem actually all that hard to find, so I'm not sure uh, what I kind of screwed up previously that I didn't find it. But now we have, so that's great. Also, if I zoom out, I've gotten all the gems, and there's just that one secret in for the finish that I haven't found. So workings, workings is done. Uh, done is a word that I've not used very much in this Let's Play thus far. Uh, it sounds pretty good. I hope I get the chance to have that word coming out of my mouth again in the future. So I guess this means we would go to, like, the scrapyard, I guess, was the second place that we went to? Actually, before I do that, um, what was it the last person told me? Uh, actually, I'm not sure that such information is in here. And... Is this in any particular order? It's not the... I was thinking it was possibly in, like, reverse order that I'd gotten it. But I think that's not the case. I wonder if it's in chronological order and it's just being automatically sorted for me or something. Also, it worries me that my inventory looks like it has spaces for, like, 30 things. <laughs> and I have five so far. Uh, oh, workings, 93%. Deep Delve, 88%. Scrapyard, 52%. Budevi, 83%, and there's a fifth area. Okay. Neat. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. And then... This is the map of Deep Delve. There's the map of Budevi. Right. And there's the map of the Scrapyard. Yeah, there's a lot in the Scrapyard. I should go back to the Scrapyard. So if I want a teleporter in the Scrapyard... There's the Sweaty Pickle... And there's the smelter. The smelter actually looks like a pretty good area to go back to. And so which one of these takes me to the smelter? I think it's that red one in the bottom here. Nope, that's Molten Passage. Here's the smelter. All right. 
So remind me about this area. I'd cleared it out, but it's adjacent to a variety of things I have not finished. Sewer level, I barely remember at all. Can I make it to the upper left door? Did I just peek in there and never actually go into it? This looks extremely walkable. Sewer level, do you look familiar to me? Not particularly, so I think I've maybe never attempted this level. And it has doors and it has gems. Alright, it looks like we're probably getting near the end of an episode, but let's just look at the sewer level a little bit. There's stuff on the right. And apparently there's a door to Sunken Tower. So I might have come this place from a few places. Let's see what's on the bottom right, if I can. Uh, there's a gem. Alright. You have my interest and my attention. Can I go down here? I can. Uh, but that's as far down as I can go, and now I'm stuck. So maybe don't go there. Uh, how do I get to that gem? It appears that I must come from the right somewhere. And there's like a whole parkour course. Oh, there's like a whole parkour course. And I have to do something with these X blocks in order to get there. And these other blocks that I just noticed are here. So, what do I think I'm doing? Let's push these down. And it occurs to me that I can break these, which means I could push the X over to the right. And then I could push it again. And then push this one to the right. And then I could step up here and push it again. And push this one to the right. And push this one to the right, and I made myself a staircase. Great! Okay, and there's a checkpoint over here. Great! Uh, does this get me down to said gem? It looks like it would. I broke some scaffolding that I'm going to need on the way back up, so let's maybe not do that. Because I probably do need to get out of here. Ooh. How would I ever get out of here? Hold on. There's a bunch of X blocks. I see that I'm stepping over the scaffolding and then I'm not going to have a way back. And so I'm worried how I'm going to get to another checkpoint. So we'll keep in mind. And these are all scaffoldings that are going to fall. And this... Uh, wait, what? I'm doing something wrong. Ah, there's another way in. I That's my exit. This is my entrance. So I need to go here and toggle purple? How would I do such a thing, given all I can do here is... Like, I don't know how to get these upwards. I can get them downwards. I can get them sidewards. But how would I get them anywhere where I could toggle purple? Was there somewhere else to toggle purple back at the beginning? Uh, I didn't actually look. So can I toggle purple elsewhere in the room? Not at a glance. I'm off the top of the screen. Oh! And now I'm at the uh, bottom of the sunken tower, apparently. Okay. So it's just kind of like... That's a stairway down to the next level. Okay. Um... I don't see another purple toggle. So, wait a minute, I didn't look up here. There's nothing up there. So if I fall down here, I'm here. How could I ever raise this or get to the purple? Like, I'm just immediately... Oh! It didn't occur to me that I want to do this until just now. But I think I want to do this. Okay, in which case, got it. I'm finally seeing the thing. So what I want to do is stomp. 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 
Stop. 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 Oh, I can't stop it on the scaffolding, can I? I had to break that scaffolding. Can I break that scaffolding and still recover? No, but I could have recovered from here just by leaving that X there. So I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this down. I'm gonna step on the scaffolding, use it to toggle the purple. And then step off the scaffolding, and I can always hop back over on that side. Okay, and so now I've made my way in. And from here, I can get my gem. I can do a little happy stomp. Then I can push this Xbox out. And yeah, and then I can push this Xbox over and stomp it. And then I have all of these scaffolds available for me to climb my way back and get back up to an exit that we happen to know is at the top, and I will have one more gem saved in my inventory at a save point, because there's a save point, because I see a little disc icon. Great. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Full Bore, where, according to our inventory, we're actually a significant fraction of the way through the game, um, and according to the title screen, well, not even two-thirds. Hmm. I guess there's that whole other area that I still haven't even found. Oh boy, things to look forward to.